What's going on, y'all? So the question of the day, can the SZ07 be a supermoto? Well, let's find out. All right, guys, so like I said, can the FZ07 be a supermoto? The short answer to that question is no, but let me explain. So the FZ07, um, and I'm speaking from somebody that currently owns three bikes, um, a 150 scooter, a uh, leader bike, and a uh, FZ07. Uh, the FZ07 is a jack of all trades. Um, it's okay at everything. I'm not going to say good. It's okay at everything. And it's great at nothing. And that's the best way to describe uh, this bike. Um, as far as it being a supermoto, no. Now, there's other YouTubers like uh, Jake Garden Snake. Quick shout out to him. Um, that really pushed FZ07, um, <laughs> I guess beyond what what is made for, whatever. But he has a fun time doing it. Um, and you watch if you watch his videos, you see him doing all types of shit on the bike. Awesome. But it, it's really not a supermoto. Um, I would say the only things that it really has in common with it is a a 17 inch uh, wheel and. Um, being very lightweight at 397 pounds um besides that it uh it doesn't really um it doesn't really have anything else in common with the supermoto um i will say this like you know those type of bikes can be dropped i wouldn't want to drop this thing um i think if you end up dropping your fz07 it's going to cost you a good bit of money it's not bulletproof like like most supermotos are um i did put um frame sliders on here and there's people that put axle sliders and um i guess um what would, what would you call them bar end sliders on the bike to make it a little bit um it'd be a little bit better if you dropped it at, at slow speeds, but um, no, this bike right here is not a supermoto. And then I'll speak to this from having experiences with other bikes and owning other bikes. Um, the FZ07, if I had if I had a choice of all three of my bikes, and I could only have one bike, I would choose the FZ07. I'd be very disappointed and unhappy that I only had one bike. I love my scooter. I love my leader bike. But um, as far as the ability to kind of do everything, everything, you would say the FZ07 has that ability. Let's go off-road a little bit. And I'm going to show you what I'm talking about a little bit here. So I'm going to take this really light, extremely light dirt road right here. And we're going to go down it. Um, I, I don't really feel comfortable on this type of road um, with the FZ07. It doesn't have knobby tires, and so it's it's not going to do really well out here. And Lord knows if I drop it, it's, it's going to get damaged. It's not like, you know, a dirt bike or a supermoto by any stretch of the imagination. Um, but, you know, the FZ07, it can do everything okay. Like for example i'm on the highway i've gotten this bike up to 117 miles an hour it took a while to get there but you know compared to my leader bike 100 going 117 miles an hour is nothing like my my z1000 sx can roll out of bed and do 117 not even thinking about it this bike takes a while to get up to that type of speed um what else you know it uh it, the one thing I would say about the FZ07, it would excel at, I guess, city riding. Um, it's got great engine braking, um, but you know, 
if you're gonna do a lot of stop and go stuff, this would be the bike to do it on. Because it's so lightweight, like when you come to stops, you can actually stand, well I can stand up, lean it on one, just rest it on the leg, one of my legs and I'm good. I'm, I don't have that fear of dropping it because it's so light, but you know, I stand 5'11 and a quarter, pretty big guy. Um, so the weight of the bike doesn't really bother me at all. So I guess really to sum it all up, the FZ07 is a jack of all trades. Um, don't expect it to do anything great. It'll do everything okay. If you had a choice of getting just one bike, hey, I really believe this is the bike you should choose. Um, but, you, but here again, you won't be completely satisfied if you only own an FZ07. Even though, you know, some people have this one bike and they're very happy with it. But anyway, thank you for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. And I'm going to catch you guys on the next video.